Hey miners, Mining King here. Today, we're gonna to be testing out a Stratus node. But before we get into that, here's a word from our sponsor. Fluxpools.net would like to announce a new weekly lottery for loyal miners that support the project. As you might already know, Fluxpools is operated by people from the Flux team. Our goal is to provide a safe and transparent mining experience. While the Flux project does not take directly from the pool, we do give a portion of our fees back to the Flux project because we understand that both the project and the miners are what make this pool possible. Flux Pools has given away nearly 5,000 Flux a month back to miners, and they have decided to reward even more miners during this time of uncertainty. The new weekly Flux lottery gives five lucky miners $50 each in Flux every week with 95% uptime required. There are 10 months remaining in this program and replaces the $1,000 in Flux monthly giveaway. There will also be a bi-weekly winner with 99.5% uptime required will receive 1.7 kilosol hash rate for 48 hours. All mining and parallel asset fees are waived until October 14th. This is on top of their weekly loyalty program. The giveaway prize will be sent directly to the mining address and nowhere else. Please do not mine directly to an exchange. Your rewards may be lost as a result. Please check out fluxpools.net for a great place to mine. All right, guys. So we're back here and I'm on the Flux testnet here. I am doing some testing on some servers that I have here at my house. And I figured I'd do this video to show you guys how to get to the, uh, how to use the Flux testnet. We need to go over to the Flux Discord. And if we scroll down to the testnet section here, this is where you'll find the, uh, you go down to test and instructions, and this will give you a detailed um, instruction guide here on how to set up for a test net in order to, like, maybe you have an extra computer at your house, and you're like, well, you know, it is kind of order, older, and I'm not sure if this will meet the requirements or whatever, right? Something like that. So this is a good way to test your gear to see if, You'll get the executions per second from your CPU, all those kind of things, right? So you'll need to download the uh, Zellcore beta release, which is this right here. So this will override your current Zellcore. You will have to revert back to the current Zellcore. Once you get that going and you get the Zellcore, you will need to go here into the testnet request coins, which is this right up here above this. And then this is where you're going, you could see that I requested 40,000 for Stratus node testing, and you'll give your, you'll have to um, make your wallet for your Flux testnet coins. So you would come over here to manage assets, add an asset, and then you would type Flux. And down here at the bottom, but you can't see it right now, is where this test Flux would be. And then you would click on show zero balances and then it would come up. You come over here to your test flux coin and then click receive. So that way you could copy it. And then all you do is you, you request the amount that you need either, you know, 1,000, 12,500 or 40,000. And, or I mean, or you could run multiples. Maybe you're trying to run three Nimbuses on one time. So you're going to need like 37 and a half thousand. I do think. I do believe that there is a 40,000 max coin that they're able to uh, send out to you. In the instructions, though, once you're done with your test, though, you do need to send the Flux test coins back to the address. So just keep that in mind when you guys are done doing your testing. Other than that, though, this is going to be a pretty straight... So this is going to be a straightforward node setup. I am using my Unraid server as I have just moved all of my nodes to my dedicated server that I have out in my garage right now. So um, I am testing this for Stratus, and I've already created the VM. Now, if you haven't watched my other video on how to set up a VM on Unraid, I suggest you guys go check out my playlist for how to make a Flux node. So we're gonna get into the actual node part here. You're gonna need this bash command, and it's right here in the testnet instructions. So you're gonna come over here, and we're just going to copy this. Because this particular bash command is different than the bash command for running standard nodes. So just keep that in mind. This is a different bash, uh, bash command. So we are going to come over here. So you right click it, hit enter, and then you'll be brought over here to the multi toolbox testnet, right? Now, this, this is the testnet. 
this is just the setup for the um the testnet test coin um multi toolbox so this is a little bit more shortened down than the standard uh toolbox so you obviously see that there's not as many options but what we're going to need to do first is set up the docker now there is a a, a typo here this is supposed to be right here this needs to be sudo su so you need to type sudo su run the command again then you'll hit one and then it'll ask for your username and then it's going to install the docker after you enter in your us username it should go pretty quick uh, at least for mine because it this is an i9 10850k and i do have gigabit internet so it's gonna it should unpack this and make quick work of it after it does install you are going to want to run the bash command again and it's going to bring us back to this menu now we want to hit number two to install flux node all right once you guys are done with the flux node installation it's going to take a long it's going to be at least 30 to 40 minutes for the blockchain to sync so you're going to want to run the bash command again and the only reason for this is and you, you only have to do this bash command again is if you have m multiple nodes i have eight nodes so if you do have all your ports locked up with nodes like real nodes you will have to turn one off and get it you know to not be on and that way you could use one of the ports for the test node the test node does use the ports so you're still limited to eight nodes even a test node so i have a specific port open so we're going to go to hit option five and we're going to hit enter for enable upmp mode i know that this is the stock number but i want to set it specifically anyways just to eliminate any errors so it's going to be 16127 but set whatever port you're not using if you already have more than one node and then you're going to hit enter and it's going to ask if this is your router's you know ip address whatever you're going to hit enter and then it's going to run uh it's going to restart flux os restart the benchmark so it's going to take another 15 20 minutes and then after this we will start the test net and make sure that this stratus node i'm trying to start actually pass the benchmarks so after you do the upmp you'll need to come back over here to your flux node i'm not showing this just because of my ip address and stuff like that but you would open this up and then there'll be a button here called start you click start and then if you want to see like where this page is right here for your where your node is you click the flux os you click this and here it'll just bring up another one it says flux has just been started it's running to, with limited capabilities but the main thing we want to look at is going to be our benchmarks so our benchmarks is for stratus so obviously we can run the highest tier node it's eight cores 16 threads 61 gigs of ram 998 gigs of ssd uh almost a thousand megabit write speed uh almost and it was at around uh 2396 for executions per second and then we have our download and upload speed so this test was successful uh we are able to run a stratus node off of this uh computer so this was my unraid computer i might turn it into something else so stay tuned all right guys this is the mining king giving you the most hashes and i'll see you next time